Hello, I'm going to give you a quick refresher on how to um, edit the the sectors and the uh, and the experts on on your on your Cartmel Shepherd website. So um, we're going to look at Claire and also the equine law sector. If we notice on on Claire's profile, she's got three um, three business sectors listed. And that's basically because we're going to actually edit Claire's profile. These sectors are ticked here. Now, I think this is what's caused some confusion uh, from, from time to time. The, we have both sectors and showing experts. And the reason we have two separate uh, taxonomies there is because you may have lots of people with um, who, who you want to display for instance the personal equine law on their own profile but you may have some key experts on which on the equine law page you want to you want to show a subset of those so Basically, you need to you need to always tick this one if the person is going to have that on their profile, and you also tick this one if you want them to appear on on the equine law page. So this is the this is the equine law page, and as you can see, there's three three people there with the uh, appearing on the page as your experts, and that's where the showing experts tick box comes in. So all of these, all of these people on the equine law, Deborah, Julian, Claire, all appear. All, all will have the showing experts box ticked for personal equine law. Now, the the recent problem we had with the equine law page itself was that it didn't know that it was related to equine law so if we if we if we if we go and edit the page for equine law it needs to also have the sector ticked and that's where the two kind of link together if you will um, so we need to we need to have the the sector ticked on the page that relates to the sector we need to have both the sector on the person and if you want them to appear on the page showing experts is ticked too. Um, if you were setting up new sectors and new and new pages etc you need to make sure that the slugs match and the slug is is a bit of slang for the um, the little bit of text that appears at the end of the URL so you can see the equine law page has the slug personal hyphen equine hyphen law and that needs to match across the page itself and also the the two taxonomies so this this sectors list here um, the slug is specified here so um, for instance the business employment law this slug for your new sector would need to match the slug for the page that represents that sector. Um, it's it's. I appreciate it, it's quite complicated, but it, it's because of this um, requirement where you want to have lots of people listed um, with with the sector that they're in, but only a subset maybe of the of the actual kind of key personnel who then appear on the page itself. I hope that's I hope that's cleared it up and uh, and uh, if you've got any questions give us a shout. Thank you.